Hi there, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Bin. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Instead of talking about an actual album release, we're going to talk a little bit about the way that we can get these guys on our digital music players, our iPods, our iPhones, our Zooms. Anyways, whatever that you're using to listen to, a way to get them into another format. Previously I had talked a little bit about what some artists have done. They've actually been using digital uh, download cards as a way to distribute their music in addition to the vinyl. So, in addition to getting something like this, you'll get one of those weird things that fall out on the floor when you go to open it for the first time. So, for example, a copy of the Lumineers album not only includes a coupon code for their online merch, but also this nice, thick download card uh, with some artwork and access code and website. Now, most of these codes have their own specific websites that they're using, so it, they don't have something as kind of mainstream or streamlined as iTunes Store or just one single kind of outlet. Each record company has their own digital distribution method, usually going to a unique website and a unique verifier. Uh, they'll let you download that once and they'll usually not let you download it again. Uh, most of the times you're going to get it in just an mp3 format. Sometimes they'll actually give you an option as to how you want to get that digital copy. Now some of them will have that thick credit card look in Mumford & Sons Babel. They have a download card very similar to the one that I talked about in the episode discussing how to destroy angels and omen EP. So, same type of download code. Probably the best that I've seen so far. It's something that more bands appear to be doing is that with these large elaborate albums uh, like How to Strange with Welcome Oblivion, very nice album artwork, two additional tracks, double 180 gram vinyl, and a full white label CD including the bonus tracks on there. This is the way that they're able to make sure that when you get your digital copy, you get it in the highest quality possible. Or if you want to need a lower quality, you can encode it however you want. So there's one piece that I would love to add to my collection. Yeah. Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross's um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo vinyl box set. So as you can see here, it's six pieces of 180 gram vinyl. It also includes posters, a very elaborate slipcover, and the razor blade Netflix, which doubles as a USB flash drive that includes the digital copy of the album with all of the tracks there. This has been a limited edition pressing and is going for $300 on their website. A bit outside of my price range, but maybe someday we'll do an episode on that. This is the other way that people are getting a digital copy of their goods, is using an ION turntable. ION has leading the way with their turntables as far as digital conversions. So on the back they actually have a USB port that allows you to connect it to your computer to bring it into either their own software or you can use anything because this basically sees it as a USB audio device on the computer. Some of them will actually have a CD burner built in that allows you to digitize it, rearrange it, edit it right on the turntable itself. Really cool. Definitely recommend one of these guys here if you've got a lot of older vinyl that isn't going to have a drop out download card. This has been the Vinyl Bin. Thanks for watching.